I don't know, our spirit, it seemed to have left the building. Today we're going to look at a couple of plays juxtaposed with Darvin Ham's statement that the Lakers' spirit seemed to leave the building. First of all, stop using intransitive verbs in a passive manner that allow the actual culprit to get off the hook because the spirit of the Lakers didn't just leave the building. It was chased out of the building with a baseball bat by LeBron James. Allow me to present Exhibit A. Thanks to an offensive rebound that falls in LeBron's hands without him even leaving his feet, the Lakers get another chance. LeBron decides the best thing to do is some whirling spin around jump shot outside of his shooting range with wide open shooters with 13 seconds left on the shot clock. All three shooters are better shooters than LeBron James. Better. Better. And the defense has collapsed the lane because it was already a missed shot. Everybody's in there for the rebound. As you can see in this still frame, Austin Reeves is wide open the moment the rebound occurs. LeBron doesn't even think about passing the ball. He didn't even think about passing the ball. And as so often happens, LeBron's terrible shot selection turns into two points for the other team at the other end. You think that helps the team's spirit? We have a technicality to deal with. That ball hit the rim, and they did change the shot clock to 24, and then a second later they changed it to 14. I don't know what that glitch is about, but 24 seconds or 14 seconds, more than enough time for LeBron to kick the ball back out for a quality shot. You're going to think I'm just being an asshole for the sake of being an asshole with this next comment, but no, that is outside of LeBron James's shooting range. I, I am serious. It is a foot outside of the paint, and that is now outside of LeBron James's shooting range. When you look at his shot charts, he can only make it at the rim, right at the rim. And that's usually only if he's all alone. So yeah, a guy shooting like that decides to do some falling away, ridiculous shot with three shooters on the three-point line. I think that hurts the spirit. And look at the score. The Lakers are only down two at that point. The Lakers are only down two at that point. You think that energized the team? You think that energized the team to keep fighting? Now here comes LeBron's third air ball of the night, but it's what happened before the air ball that I think is even more important. Because there's all this criticism about Anthony Davis needing to score more or be a bigger part of the offense. Well, this play is a great example of LeBron James holding the ball as if he's a great ISO player, ignoring Anthony Davis cutting to the rim. The entire offense has now died, and LeBron's going to end it with an air ball. He could pass that ball through Garland's legs, around Garland, just get it to AD like Westbrook does. Speaking of Westbrook and AD, watch this play. So Westbrook does what he's supposed to do, and he draws the double. He collapses the lane and feeds AD. But not only that, I want you to look at LeBron James during that play. Completely uninvolved and uninterested. So here's a great example of LeBron trying to get his points and he's going to the rim, the only place he can make it, except he misses anyway. But look at his teammates. Look at what was given up on that play. Tell me how that would do for morale on your basketball team. And normally this would be points for the other team at the other end, except that they happen to miss. So Lakers dodged a bullet there. I could do this all day, but I got to move on to other projects. For this final example, I just want you to look at Westbrook after he gives the ball to LeBron James. He knows that the offensive possession is over. He knows that it's over. I mean, how do you think that feels as a team to know that this is going to end with LeBron trying to go ISO and shooting a brick? At least he hit rim this time. Good job. Good job, LeBron. You getting some shooting coaching so you can hit rim now? J.J. Redick, the latest copycat LeBron dick-sucking analyst in the mix. He and Stephen A. are talking about doing some trades with LeBron, and Stephen A. suggests Damian Lillard. I don't know why Portland would ever be dumb enough to do that, but if it happened, the Lakers would be instant contenders. Look, 
they would improve immediately just by getting rid of LeBron and not even adding anyone. You can't heal from cancer while you're feeding the tumor. LeBron got his 27 and guess what? This is following the same pattern that I went through painstaking effort to show last year that when LeBron gets his numbers, the Lakers lose. He's not doing what it takes for the team to win. His pursuit of numbers is making the team lose and you LeBoner fans can't see this. You might as well wheel the dude down the court in a wheelchair, have everyone get out of the way and let him shoot it right at the rim. And if he doesn't make it, hand him the ball again and let him try again. Because that is what this scoring title has been reduced to. It is a mockery of the game. My final clip analysis today is a bonus. It's a special request. This comes from Anthony Z. Uh, it's one of LeBron's offensive fouls. As far as his offensive fouls go, it's not one of the worst I've seen. I'm just going to throw this out there for you guys to tell me what you see. Because I see an elbow and a forearm get the defender get out of the way and... As I understand it, you are not allowed to clear space in that manner. So, question, is he lowering his shoulder there? Is he clearing with the elbow there? If your answer is no, please tell me what is he doing with that right arm that actually swings all the way through <laughs> to make sure that the defender is completely gone. So my follow-up question is, if that's not a foul, then why is that? I mean, I don't think Kevin Love even altered his body. Like the announcers said that he lowered the shoulder. I'm just looking for some consistency because if LeBron James did this, they'd say, oh, you can't stop him because he's too big and strong for you. Kevin Love did it, and it was an offensive foul. LeBron, here's what it looks like to make an open three, a wide open three, just so you know. Okay, a shout out to all of my followers and all the thoughtful comments on the last couple of videos trying to acknowledge a few of your special requests i'm not going to get to everyone so i'm a little worried about pissing people off but uh by not getting to everyone but i'm getting a few of them out there getting a few of them like subscribe follow comment you know the drill